Okay, really quick, rough and ready, how to get your OpenLRS receiver outputting PPM. Okay, so what you need to do is have both um, transmitter and receiver flashed with OpenLRS NG, like in my other video. Then you need to connect your transmitter to your PC using the FTDI cable, again, just as you would in the other video. Then we can turn it on and then go on to the configurator and click connect. We're in. Okay, so this is all your transmitter settings, all your frequencies, power levels, yada yada. You see there's a tab for receiver module. You click this one and then you power on the receiver. Once, the power, once that's powered on, the two bind wirelessly. And now you're able to access all the settings via the wireless data link, the same link that you'd use to fly with, and you can change to PPM. So, minimum PPM sync time. Look, these are good, good settings to use for an APM flight controller are 3000 to 4000 on the sync time. You limit PPM to eight channels, and then to set PPM, we look over this side, and there's one that's highlighted green, and we select PPM on there. And then, hey presto, you click save to EEPROM, and you're done. Simple as that. Thanks. Bye.